any fucking day now we're gonna get a knock on the door and she's gonna wind up in the place she fears the most. There's nothing I can do to save her. I just overheard her calling up to donate our refrigerator and stove that we are currently using. A, you don't, I warned you when this started, don't be indicating to anybody that you have any type of money, okay? And B, we're using the stove and refrigerator. And she's, she's like, they're brand new, and do you want, the, you know, she's calling up her church, like, to do donations. I'm like, Mom, you cannot donate our refrigerator and stove that we are using currently. And we're not getting new ones right at this moment in the middle of this pandemic. And plus, even more important, you're not supposed to be telling anybody that you have any money at all. Like, she's going to be your own downfall. I see it. I see it. Nothing I can do. She's gone. She's calling people that are going to pick up the phone telling you. And they're going to send the fucking police here. Any day now, I'm going to get a knock on the door. And I'll be like, fuck you. I'll say it to myself, fuck you. I know you're going to do what you want anyway. Because the whole world's gone goddamn fucking mad. The world's gone mad, okay? It's being run by whatever. But you know that... I told you what Joe believes. I can't say that I believe in that or I've studied it, but he has. And I don't scoff at anything extraterrestrial beings, Anunnaki, uh, that, to say the least, are uh, not out for our best interest. He talks about archons, he talks about other dimensions, he talks about, you know, David Icke and we're all infinite consciousness sharing a human experience. And, uh, I cannot save her from herself. I can't take her phone away, I'll be accused of elder abuse. Meanwhile, I'm just watching a speeding train coming right towards her, and she can't see it because she's gone in the head. She's going to wind up, apart from me, she's going to wind up in the place she fears the most. She could even be wind up one of those people who dies alone in the hospital. And there's not one fucking thing that I can do about it. Nothing, you understand me? I can't take her phone away from her. I will be cute of elder abuse because that is the goddamn sick reality I live in.